Hello! In this figure we have two semicircles and the radius of the smaller one is 12 units. Points A, B, C and D are on the semicircles and the line segments AC, EF and BD are parallel. The points E and F are the centers of the circles. AB equals 10 units and AG equals BG. So if AB is 10 units, then each one will be 5 units. BD is 17 units and EF is 48 units. We need to find the radius of the larger semicircle. To understand the process, let's start by connecting the points C and D. And let this point be point H. Then if AG is 5 units, then CH is also 5 units. Now let's also connect the points C and F. And now we have a right triangle where the hypotenuse CF is also the radius of this semicircle. In this right triangle, one side is 5 units, and if we would know this side, then we would use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse. To solve this problem, we will start with the semicircle to the left. First, we will connect the points A and E, and now we have another right triangle, A, G, E. In this right triangle, one side is 5 units, and the hypotenuse is 12 units because this is also the radius of this semicircle. Then we will use the Pythagorean theorem to find the side EG. So in the triangle AGE, EG squared plus AG squared equals AE squared. So again, one side squared plus another side squared equals the hypotenuse squared. We will replace AG with 5 and AE with 12. So we will write EG squared plus 5 squared equals 12 squared. Then EG squared equals 144 minus 25 and 144 minus 25 is 119. Then EG will be equal to square root of 119, which is approximately 10.91. Now in the figure, if BD is 17 units, then GH is also 17 units. So EG is 10.91, GH is 17, and now to find HF, we will subtract these two lengths from 48. So HF equals EF minus EG and minus GH. Then HF equals 48 minus 10.91 and minus 17. Then HF equals 20.09. And now once we know HF, we will use the Pythagorean theorem to find CF. So we will write that HF squared plus CH squared equals CF squared. Then we will replace HF with 20.09 and CH with 5. And now 20.09 squared plus 5 squared equals CF squared. Then CF equals square root of 20.09 squared plus 5 squared. And this is approximately 20.7. So we can write now that the radius of the larger semicircle is approximately 20.7 units. I hope you liked this problem and thank you for watching.